Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikon and I am back once again. Today's topic is brought to you by the not-so-wonderful world of games journalism. This is something that I wanted to talk about a bit sooner, but I was still recovering from being sick. But today, I want to talk about an article from PC Games N and how the writer believes that the Steam Deck needs exclusives. So let's not waste any time and jump right into things. The Steam Deck is an utterly incredible device. It's basically a tiny PC that can play most of the huge AAA games in addition to your standard indie games, but its party trick is that you can take it on the go in handheld mode or plug it into the best Steam Deck dock and use it as a full Linux desktop. Yet there's something that's been bothering me about the device, something that I couldn't put my finger on until very recently. I want to quickly pause to point out something here. While he says that it's basically a tiny PC, he's just off the mark. It's not basically a tiny PC, it is a tiny PC. This is important to note because the Steam Deck has the flexibility that comes with owning a PC. When he mentioned that you can use it as a full Linux desktop, while that's true, it doesn't have to be Linux or just Linux. If you wanted to replace it or dual boot into Windows, you're more than welcome to do so. I personally won't do that, but the option is there for you to do it. I'm making this point because it'll come up again later on. Back to the article. It didn't hit me until playing Crisis Core Final Fantasy Reunion, which is a remaster of a former PSP exclusive, that the Steam Deck doesn't have the same system seller exclusives you'd expect from a new console. PlayStation has God of War, The Last of Us, and Ratchet and & Clank. Xbox has Halo, every Bethesda game now, and Forza. Nintendo has Pokemon, Mario, Zelda, Kirby, and several more. What does the Steam Deck have as a system seller? Aperture Desk Job? Here's the thing though. It's not a console. He called it a console in this paragraph, but it isn't one. It's a PC, which I established before. Because of that, you can't apply a console mentality to it because it's not the same thing. Also, a lot of those games are on PC. God of War and The Last of Us have or are getting PC ports. Most of Microsoft's games are on PC, usually on the same day as Xbox. As for Nintendo, well, those games have been coming to PC for years now. So I don't understand why he thinks this is a big deal when PC is getting most of the games that are coming to consoles. The Steam Deck is basically perfect. Sure, it could use some software updates. The fact you can't install games while the device is in sleep mode is baffling. But the hardware is incredible, and it has the most extensive back catalog of any new device. What would ascend the Steam Deck to the next level is some incredible exclusives, even if they're smaller games like the aforementioned Aperture Desk job. Basically, a glorified tech demo to show off the Steam Deck's capabilities while set in the same universe as the Portal and Half-Life series. The ideal Steam Deck exclusive would take full advantage of all the technology available while also bringing something new to the table, similar to how a game such as Astro's Playroom show off the shared capabilities of the PlayStation 5 and DualSense controller while also being a full game. Don't get me wrong, Aperture Desk Job is great, but it's no more than an hour long and acts more as a tech demo than a full game whereas Astro's Playroom feels more like a full platformer. That's because it is a tech demo. It's just a tutorial to help you understand the controls of the Steam Deck. Valve even made it clear that people shouldn't expect anything big from Aperture Desk Job. If you felt disappointed by it because it didn't tease anything or do anything revolutionary, that's on you. And why would an exclusive for the deck make any sense? I'm willing to bet that it sold no more than 3 million units. Why would locking a game to that platform make any sense? And, and what about people who own a GPD Win or an Aya Neo? Those are handheld gaming PCs as well. Are they supposed to be left out to dry with because of this? Additionally, how would you even make it exclusive? The controls could just be played on a desktop anyway. What's stopping someone from playing Aperture Desk Job on their desktop? As long as they have a controller with gyro and paddles, they can play the game. He then goes on wanting ports of PSP and Vita games, and to be honest, why should those games only be on a handheld? Why not also port them to console as well? Granted, these would only be on PS5 for obvious reasons. He even says that people would love to play these games on more powerful hardware, but if that's the case, wouldn't it make more sense to also put these games on a platform that isn't restrained by a battery life and mobile hardware? Unless you're doing some mismatch like a 3DS and an NES, a stationary platform like a desktop or console is going to be more powerful than a handheld. Here's his final statement. Come on, Sony, give us a sign of respect for your handheld library. Failing that, come on, Valve, give us a nice Steam Deck exclusive that takes full advantage of the system. 
doesn't necessarily have to be Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 necessarily. It just needs to be a fun time for people that want an exclusive, although both of those are sure to sell the system in droves. That's a horrible idea. Limiting Portal 3 or Half-Life 3 to a handheld is an abysmal take. And to be honest, if any other publication had given this take, it wouldn't be as bad. It would still be a bad take, but I would know why it was given. The writer wouldn't know any better. But this is from a publication called PC Games N, so this is clearly a PC-centric pub. However, the writer has a console mentality. No PC gamer in their right mind wants an exclusive. It does nothing but hurt the consumers. And one of the best things about PC gaming is the freedom. Configuring the games, being able to shop for games on multiple sites and stores, using different controls, mods, emulation, they all make the experience as good as it is. Trying to make exclusives goes completely against the principle of freedom. And if you want exclusives, then I'm sorry, but PC gaming isn't for you. That's not what PC is about, nor should it be. If that's what you want, I strongly suggest you just get a console. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, everyone, I am Zerakhan signing off. Have a good one.